everybody. One of you guys said, hey, go to the farm. Let's see what it looks like out there. Kind of doing this to the sea. And now I see the wind has switched now. And off that direction from us to the northwest, west, they've got a blizzard warning out. So our wind was out of the south, and now I see it's out of the northwest, so west. So it's changed. I don't even know if we're going to get in the farm or not. We're going to try. I don't know. It's not looking too good. The cops were saying that uh, visibility up to the north of us is already down to a couple of hundred feet in spots. And they said the north-south roads are terrible. So east-west don't look too bad, but I guess we'll know as soon as we turn off onto the gravel. So. Not looking too bad here, but if you look to the north, you just can see the haze that's coming, that cloud cover, so. And that's a county of, yeah, county or so away. And, uh, so if that's blowing, and that warning goes until midnight, so. Right now, this don't look too bad, so. We'll see what it looks like when we get to the farm. And oh yeah! They got me a box of 20. Uh, valve seals. Only got 16 valves, so got some extras, huh? Alright. Not sure if it's going to show up in the camera or not, but you can see something up in the sky. I mean, and that's where it is, and well. About a mile and a half straight over, it looks like it's getting heavier. Let's see what kind of drifts we got the bus today. It almost. This stuff's just blowing crazy. Yesterday there was nice, gentle, like waves out in the field, and now it looks like it's cut those out. Now. Here's cut beginning to be a problem spot. This road's now about half. Oh, it's down the one lane coming over that hill. Ditches are full. This ain't good. Further north I go to. Days like this is when I wish to. Oh, Jesus. Oh! 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 I'm still. Ah! Jeepers. I'm still in two wheel drive. Thank goodness I made it through those. Wow, that. Thank God they let school out early. So I don't know if this blizzard warning, if they're getting new snow or on top of this. Or if it's just blowing all this snow around. Wow. There's a lot of drifts out here already. Ooh. 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 Wow. Whoa. Wow. Truck lifted up on that last batch. Oh. I bet you when we turn around and go back to town. Oof. Yeah, there we go. Bet you when we turn to go, ooh, whoa. Turn around and go back to town, we ain't even gonna tell where we just went through. Wow. Okay, hold on here, there's another. Uh, uh, oh no, where's the road? I don't know where the road is. Oh, there it is. Holy mackerel! Wow, I'm stopping here. Come on, truck, stop. The hell with this. I know you don't have to stop to go to four wheel drive, but that's terrible. Come on, truck. There we go. That wasn't a fun ride, that last one I lifted up over. So, let's see what the farm looks like. See, we 
had the lane busted through and we had a bunch of snow piled up. Actually, it's taken the snow out of the lane. It's not as deep as what it was yesterday. Okay. All right. Now I got a neighbor up the road and if he took his car, I'm gonna let him know. But that change has buried all the, almost buried all that, so. I was gonna say Ups Man. The Ups Man's just going right there in the mirror. See? I was gonna say, boy, I hope he doesn't have to go south. Holy crap, I got some snow to move. The 90's getting buried. Holy moly. All right, I'm gonna make a call. Well, it looks like I got a door leakage or something here, damn it. I was like, why is there water on here and that? But right there behind the chains, it looks like my seal's giving out. Great, wonderful. No wonder it's getting hard to heat this place. Son of a beehive. And I got a block sitting in a snowdrift now. Well, the wind switched at least. Now that'll stop. So, all right. We made it to the farm. I don't know how long we're going to stay because I called my neighbor the one I said, I hope you took your truck to work. He says, no, I did not. He's like, I says, um, you might have a problem getting home. He's got one of those little, uh, what the hell is it, Kias or something, low to the ground. I said, you may not make it through. I said, I hit a couple of spots in that lifted the four-wheel drive, and he's like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> So at least the wind has switched and stopped blowing snow in here, so I guess we gotta get a new seal for around the door, so. All right, I'm gonna get that motor moved so it doesn't start rusting and everything else, so, all right. I don't know if it's gonna show up in the camera, but uh, county just next to us to the west there, who's been put in a blizzard warning too. You can see that some dark clouds moving that way. That's just kind of weird looking, and look at that. The, Snow's almost up to the bumper. 90. Not sure how I'd get to that right now. But I ain't going to be pulling no cars in here. And I think that's a little bit more than my little uh, John Deere can push right now. He's sitting there waiting to go. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Gave that one pull and she popped right off. I've got, what I did is mix some stable in the gas. And running that through. Feeling lazy about taking the carburetor apart, but I think I'm going to end up taking the carburetor apart and blow it out all the orifices. And I see everywhere that should be an adjustment. Well, maybe that one. I let's see. Give me a light. I don't know if that one's adjustable or not, but that one's plugged off or whatever. So anyway, uh, yeah. Here at her, I might end up having to buy a new carburetor for it. Then that'll be Shea 73. He's found a lot of good carburetors. But, uh, sorry about that. Anyway, got the posi sales. So let's see, where's my stand? All right. Let's see, right here. And there's the metal clad ones. So, right there you go. Nose, go. Oh, what do you guys see? I'll go right. Yeah, I got those. So if I can move the belt stuff, they go right on here. So, I'll put, okay, oop, oop, I don't want that on there yet because I want to wash those heads one more time, so. But, we got them. And I did find out something. And this is, uh, these heads here are good up to, uh, K.E. Robinson was telling me, these heads are good to a 475 lift cam. I can't remember the separation. 
it wasn't very much but otherwise you've got to uh, machine these down otherwise your retainers start hitting that and he said I gotta get um, ah, LS6 or something retainers to put on there and then that's got to be machined down so it'll clear for a bigger lift cam then he says get rid of the press in studs because they won't hold I said yeah I got the stuff if I really wanted to I could pull these tap that and put in the screw ends but if I'm going to do that I will have these machined and put the actual true with the bolted head on them on there so that's something for a buddy in California to take into consideration too on how big a cam you go want to go in your truck might have to do extra machine work here and pay for the cost of studs going in so um, then also I was told a 19 pound minimum multi-fuel multi port injection and uh, he said the better one uh, I can't remember don't hold me to it my brain's just fired my wife just called she's finally getting to leave work and snow is getting deeper and I don't even want to know what this month's heat bill is going to be ah <laughs> uh, yeah I'd almost like to shut the heat off and then just heat it when I'm here but all this metal in here gets cold by the time I get it warm again to work with it it's time to go home so yeah there I'm learning a little bit more about these heads what you got to do to them to put more of a cam in um, so yeah I lost my train of thought I am so sorry but uh, yep we got the valve seals I don't know if I'm going to really mess around it's already late in the afternoon this is might be a quickie update yes there's the motor covered up like shiny new parts well, not shiny new, but shiny used. Oh, and that was another thing. I sat down for the first time in a long time, and I started looking in the Summit catalog, and I'm like, really? Here I am. I got an old 400 crank. I might go ahead and use that. I might use that one. But my special 400 build that I want to do, I may not use these. I got looking at scat cranks. It's amazing what they are costing now. They're affordable. I remember when SCAT first come out there, you couldn't even think about owning one. And I could get the two SCAT cranks, or even get the 383 crank that I'm looking for. That's for the... F no, I wouldn't even need that one if I did that. Well, if I... You know, yeah, I could... Well, shit. I don't know, but anyway, looking at these scat cranks, it almost makes me not want to use my stock 400 crank there and that 350 crank that's already turned 1010. And if it doesn't polish up or it needs to be turned, that's going a minimum 2020. And this 400 crank here, right there, thinking about having to turn down the fit in a 350 block and make my fun little. three. Well, it was, it was a good motor, but I didn't like the small bore large stroke I like the big bore short stroke that seemed to run a lot harder for me but then I got a 305 block that we might be putting a 400 crank in and building a little 334 out of it so yeah I'm like boy those new cranks no work ready to go I'm like wow so I don't know and then the pistons are a little more affordable, so I don't know. We'll get some more good donations and that. Do some builds. Maybe I might have to go back, if, depending on how things go, and I'd have to check with a lawyer or something or somebody with legal advice. And maybe uh, one of these motors we would do up and uh, maybe give it away. I don't know. It just if we can get over. <laughs> say get over a thousand subscribers or something and give away do an engine build series for and uh, have people send in 
their info and uh, put it all in a big drawing? I don't know. It's a plan to kick around for 2015. And uh, I guess I'd have to come up with some rules and that. When I'm going to build a wild motor for a teenager, you know, you know I mean, uh, granted, it's just something to think about. There may be a plan. But, uh, well, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm just kind of out here to kill, oh, uh oh, um, shit. Uh, wow. I think I better get my butt out of here. Look at this. It's We just looked out here while I was videotaping this. We could see see the clouds and it just went to shit here. So, all right. I think I'm going to make sure I got everything unplugged that I want unplugged and need unplugged. So, if the wire electricity starts surging, we don't lose this place. So, um, yeah. All right. Just sitting here, the truck was rocking. Um, it just has turned to shit fast here. I mean, look at this, guys. My wife's caught out in this. <laughs> we got blue sky up there, but we've got a good old fashioned Iowa ground blizzard. Come on, wiper. Let me see if I can get that wiper cleaned off. Okay, we're gonna we're in four-wheel drive. Come on, truck. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right, we're getting out of here. We're gonna. I guess I'll take you for a ride on a Iowa. Iowa. Oh shit! There's a car coming. Surprise that car man. Oh, he almost brought one in the ditch. Oh. No, that was that one neighbor. Oh goodness. How the hell did she make it through this? Holy crap. Wow, I surprised that Cadillac made it through that. Wow. Shit. Come on, my belt's slipping. Come on. Come on. Come on, truck. I got a bunch of snow up under. Come on. My bolt gauge is dropped. Well, I hope that's what it is and I didn't break a belt. Well, I guess we'll keep an eye on the temp here. <sighs> oh yeah, power's down because the wipers don't want to go. God, I hope I just didn't lose a belt. Alternator again, it's slipping. There we come back. Snow's getting up under the hood today, guys. Wow. I can't see out my side window anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Oof, oof, oof. I don't mean the oh make the noises but holy crud now here's the hill that everybody drains there's just no room to go 
got anybody coming over. You know what, that gal with the Cadillac just come up here. I can't even see her tracks anymore. Okay, Tim's going back down. Okay, there she's going back off. Starting to get worried there. Hmm. Wonder what the heck that is on the hood. <laughs> I don't think we hit anything, did we? <laughs> oh shit, brakes ain't working. Snow fast brakes. <laughs> uh, come on. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Hopefully the window opens yet. Better clean that off before it freezes shut. Because if it freezes shut, I ain't getting out in town. Nope. Let's go for it, guys. Time to get off the pot or do your business. Wow. I guess I'll let you guys continue the ride home, and this will be our video. Brown Blizzard in Iowa. I guess this way, if somebody hits me, I got video proof of it. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, the sun is trying to show. Whoa! Yeah. Wind is strong. Oh boy, okay. This don't look good. I know we got a semi in front of us somewhere. You guys see it? I don't know. I can't see him. I don't know where he went. Well, maybe I see him. There he is. Oh, there's a car in between us, too. Okay. Like they're saying now, well, you want the weather to change? Just wait five minutes. I mean, we come out, it really wasn't this bad, but all that snow we got and it never got crusted, well, now you see what it's doing. I guess I get to the house, I'll let the truck run a little while behind the house to make sure stuff gets melted out. And you got crazy kids all here on their snowmobiles. I was younger, I wanted the mind to do it that, but a lot of money to play that stuff kind of game nowadays. Okay, okay. where'd everybody go? Yeah. Well, our first ground blizzard of 2015. by now we'd be at the house. But when you don't know where anybody is, I'll have fun, neighbor. She's got to go up the same road. I just come down. She's probably going, well, he made it. Oh, God. I don't know where anything is. I know we had two vehicles in front of us, but... Is I all I know is she's probably having a heck of a time. She didn't, she don't like the weather no more. Okay, we're almost to town. All right, we're almost to town here, as you can see. So I guess uh, wow, crazy weather. It is crazy. 
Well, I guess till this blows over, I don't know what we'll do next. Well, once I get to where I can get out to the farm again, I know what we'll do next. We'll get those heads all washed up and then get the assembly done and uh, get those ready to go. And hopefully by then I've come into some money and I've gotten the soft plug kits and uh, soft plug kit, sorry. And we'll get the plugs all back in that uh, motor and we can get the heads on it and uh, go from there. So yeah. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that ride there. That's when they tell you no travels advised and they haven't said that yet, but I bet you they will be here pretty quick. But uh, there's what you get to look forward when it's winds come up and you got a bunch of loose snow it makes it hard to see so well you all take care be careful stay warm stay safe and god bless each and every one to keep us all safe and healthy so until next time we'll see you guys later thanks for watching guess that's one way to have a rough don't have to worry about my stuff blowing off no more. It's all buried under snow there. Where that's all white there, that's what I got to get shingled yet. Then we can get going on the inside of that again. So, thought I'd just throw that in there. So, all right.